Live and direct. Right, right, right. It's Sway in the morning. Right here on Shade 45. Ladies and gentlemen, he's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. The man that claims to have the insight to anything dealing with entertainment, Fred Mwanga Ganga. How you doing, bro? I'm doing well. Thanks. Man, I know you've had a crazy month the past 30 days on MediaTakeout.com, right? Yeah, I mean, when I just think about over the last 30 days, this, this is probably the most exciting 30 days that I've been around on the site. I mean, there's been reality star craziness, yeah. and, you know, people going to jail, people getting out of jail. Uh-huh. It was really hard to come up with the top five, but we got the top five. For got the top five stories on MediaTakeout.com, which is a direct reflection of what's going on in pop culture. Urban side. No, I'm joking. Uh, so... <laughs> In general, uh, so the number five top story on MediaTakeout.com is? The number five top story of the month is Kenya Moore getting her ass beat on the Housewives reunion show. Somebody actually fought her? Yeah, she actually got beat. Like beat, like world star beat. World beat. star beat. Yeah, it wasn't It wasn't no girl fighting beat. This is like oh, this is different. street. World hood. star beat. Yeah, like, like yeah, <laughs> that kind of beating. So, That's like beating to the tenth power. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, the the thing is, Kenya Moore is known on the Atlanta Housewives as being one of those women that really likes to talk and really likes to get, really pushing people's buttons. Yeah, she's and, been there before. Right. I mean, she she likes to take it to the edge. Uh-huh. And for most times, you know, most people are not going to really get real hood with it. You yeah. know what I mean? And just take it there. But I guess she messed with Portia, and she kept talking about her husband, yeah. and our husband could be, or her ex husband is gay, and that was just too much, I think, for Portia to deal with. Uh-oh. So Portia just blacked out on her. She pulled out her hair, like literally oh, wow. ripped her hair out, right? Uh-huh. Two pieced her, and I mean they they had to actually call the police <laughs> to get her out of it. Well, so that was a real fight. It was a real fight. I mean, the thing about it right now that's interesting is Bravo doesn't like this. I mean, the advertisers don't like too much ratchetness on there. They like a certain level of ratchetness, Aye. but once you get a little bit more too much, the advertisers start coming down. So Bravo's now in a kind of a quandary, right? They have yeah. this great footage yeah. of can you get in the ass beat, and the question is, do they include it on the foot in the footage on the, the reality show, or do they just kind of hold it back? I uh, How many, I bet, they're going to include it on a reality show. Yeah. Come you, on, man. You know how what? you know? How can you not? But remember, in Basketball Wives, this season of Basketball Wives, Drea Punched that girl Sunday, caught her right in her eye, blacked the eye, yeah. and they didn't show that on TV. So, I mean, that would be. Is that why great. that girl was sitting around with the black yeah, eye? Yeah, Dre mm-hmm. blacked the eye on TV. Well, Dre is gangster, huh? That's what I mean. I mean damn. <laughs> All right, you know, you guys, if you have any comments on any of these stories, 888 742 3345, the number four top story in the past month on MediaTakeout.com. The number four top story. Is Paula Patton announcing that she's divorcing her longtime husband, Robin yeah. Dick? Not Man, divorcing, was... separating. Well, I mean, you know, separation, divorce. They're not together right now. They're not living in the same home. And, I mean, think about it. These two have been together since Robin was 14 years old. He's now 36 years old. So 22 years they were together. And now that's it. It's a wrap. It's not, it's not a wrap. <laughs> they got a kid involved. They've been spotted with um their son out and about. Even, um... Uh, what's his face? He said that he while he was doing an interview. Yeah, I mean, he wants her back, but I mean, you know, when you you don't announce saying I'm leaving this dude and putting it out there until unless it's serious, you know what I mean? Of course, but people are also in the moment. But Robin Thicke did an interview recently saying how he feels like they're going in the right direction. I'm sure he does. She wanna, likes all the. Um, I'm sure he feels that way, but I'm sure there's another dude or a couple of dudes is feeling it in a different way. Yeah, but the most important part of his statement was saying how um, Paula Patton likes the fact that during his concerts, he explains that he's still in love with her. He wants her back. She thinks it's romantic. I don't know, man. I mean, when a woman... I believe Tracy. Who you believe, Heather? <laughs> yeah, Heather, married woman on the stage. What do you think? What do you think about this? Uh, I don't think anything until I see them in court. I believe they're still smashing each other out. I believe they're still together, and it's not final until the paper is dry. All right. <laughs> we got James on the line from PA. James, good morning. Big what James. up, James? James, James, James. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. Look, listen, I was thinking about it, and I'm going to comment on the Paula Patton Robin Thicke uh, story. Uh, I'm a barber. Yeah. And, 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 and being in amongst men, I was mentored by an older barber who told me something I never forgot. And I'm going to say it like this about Paula Patton. Listen, brothers, when a woman says it's over, it's over. 
See, when we break up with a woman, she calls for some pussy, and we'll, and we'll come running back. True. But when a woman says it's over, it's done. So, <laughs> Finished. So you, so you saying it's done. It's done. That's not true. And not true. only is she no. saying it, she announcing it to the world, Sway. They live in a different type of life than us. They have to announce all these type of things because now if she wants to go date someone else just so she can break up the monotony, she's going to look crazy if she's still, like, technically married. And I also think with the picture that came out with him grabbing the girl's ass, you know, the photo shot in the back, he, she had to say something. Yeah. I, I mean, you got to save some sort of face. We both love Paula and Robin here, but... I, they're still together until they get divorced and the ink is dry. To me, they're still married and they're still together. And I'm sure they're still sleeping with each other. Uh, That's what married people do. That's what they do. <laughs> All right. Um, our top three story in the past month on MediaTakeout.com is the number three story of the month is Drake and Rihanna are now officially a couple. Ow. Okay, we talked about that, right? People have seen them in public holding hands, correct? Yeah, yeah. There was a photo. There was there was a video early on that they were holding hands, and then last week there was an actual photo of the two of them leaving a London club together, and they were holding hands. So that must be a lot of fun. What? Could you imagine being in a relationship with Rihanna, or if you are uh, a woman being in a relationship with Drake at this point of their careers? I mean, mm. they got the world at their hands right now. That must be a f- lot of fun. I agree. I mean, I think it's, you know, when you're looking at the uh, uh, pop princesses, Rihanna is it. And, you yeah. know, hip hop artists right now, Drake is it. So, I mean, they're really at the pinnacle. Paparazzi love them. The streets love them. People love them. I mean, they could really do big things if they stay together. You know what would be cool? If they did an album together, like the best of both worlds. I don't know about that. No, no, you don't think so? Nah, nah, nah. Man, that would be the biggest project ever. I mean, it you would. know, because for Rihanna, maybe. But remember, Drake right now, I mean, he's hot and he's a hip hop artist. And you start doing like that duet type stuff. That to me, that just that's, are you that's kidding kind of me? Right there. Drake, you, you can't just box Drake as just a hip hop artist. Hold on, we're we're going on. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, Sway. Yeah. Like I mean, you know, I was a little out. Of, was I in key? I was it, it was all right. all right. Okay, cool. All right. Um, the number two story. <laughs> the number two story of the month is Chris Brown getting kicked out of rehab and then locked up. I mean, right now as we speak, yeah. Chris Brown is in prison. Locked down 23 hours a day, only one hour out. And getting out on the 17th, right? Well, I mean, they, they say he is, right? But he still has to go and face uh, a, a judge in Washington, D.C. And so we don't know where this whole thing is going. And if, you know, if we think about the way that they've been doing Chris Brown all the way through, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if the dude is in jail for a long time. Nah. Now, do these two stories go together, Fred? Drake and Rihanna being together officially, and then like three days later, Chris Brown being kicked out of rehab. Like, I mean, what, I mean, what, what happens here? Media's always bastardizing that guy, man. Yeah, and they're I always mean, making that connection. Well, you know, the, but there is a connection. I mean, Rihanna and Chris Brown have stayed together. I can tell you, I know by very, very, very close knowledge that Chris Brown, that Rihanna was actually calling Chris Brown when he was in in uh, in rehab. Yeah. So the two of them are still friendly. The two of them still have, they got that kind of soulmate attraction that for the rest of their lives, they're always going to kind of be a pull between them. But here's the funny part. Um, so uh, Carucci and Chris Brown, they broke up. Yeah. But Breezy's still leaving voicemails on this girl's phone talking about that I love you, and she posts them on Instagram. Well, you know, when you locked up, you calling people up telling them you love them, right? <laughs> Did you do that when you were locked up? <laughs> okay, all right. We have Sonya on the line from Buffalo. Good morning, Sonya. How you doing, Sonya? What up, Sonya? Hey, hey, hey. Hi, hey. Hey. Hey, what, what, what do you wanted to chime in on this? Go ahead. Yeah, I think Drake needs to leave her alone before she sabotage his career like she did Chris Brown. She a homie smasher. And like Meek Mill said, everybody want to know what it's hitting for. But I would definitely leave her alone. Didn't because Chris- Drake... Drake is a crybaby, so if she do him wrong, he really going to be crying. And mean? then she going to be able to manipulate him. Drake's <sighs> not a crybaby. First of all, Chris Brown sabotaged his own career when he assaulted Rihanna. He assaulted him first because of where her jealousy rage. Uh-huh. So she assaulted him first, Damn. and he fought her back. You you were in the car, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> she said, yeah. Sonya, you're a citizen. A slave of the morning, yeah. Well, I mean, to, to, to Sonya's point, though, there is rumors. I mean, we I spoke to someone in the know, and they told us that Drake's homies are not 100% on board with this relationship. They think Rihanna is really kind of 
aggressive. The homies. Who yeah, cares homies. what your friends think? I'm saying he he does, right? <laughs> Whenever you hear him, you see him, he lives with his homies. You know, he travels with his homies. So you want to know your homies, you know, they that they at least approve of, of the woman Man, that you have a relationship I with, I think right? that his homies has trust, have trusted his judgment since day one, and look how far he's brought them. Mm-hmm. They started from the bottom, now they're here. <laughs> Why would they question his judgment today? Well, I'm saying they could give you advice. They don't have to, like, you know what I mean? They're, I'm not talking about they cutting them off or nothing. They're yeah. just saying, look, Drake, like, that's not necessarily how the moves I think you should make. Yeah. Okay, all right, the number two. The number two story, Chris Brown getting kicked out of rehab and locked up. Okay. <laughs> the number one story in the past month on MediaTakeout.com. The number one story is Ray Benzino from Love and Hip Hop getting shot twice by his nephew. Yo! <laughs> what was that about? That was a crazy story. And yeah. I can say, first off, Benzino is the homie. He's a big homie. So whatever I'm saying right now is not coming from Benzino. I, you know, there's a legal, you know what I mean? Police is involved and stuff like that. So this is not coming from him. But this is from other sources. <laughs> <laughs> Out the paint you go, Fred. Good man. So, <laughs> just for the, record, for the record, you never talked to him directly. Never, never spoke to him. And he never said this to never you. Never said these words are not coming from anywhere <laughs> close to him. Yeah. Right. Great. But these are- <laughs> Fred don't want to get beat up by the He don't want to get a world star beat down. <laughs> Go ahead. This, this is from other sources. Other sources I told you. Okay. Now, here's the, allegedly... You know, his mom recently passed. Yeah, right? that's sad. And they, yeah. there was there was some relate. He, he it was estranged from his sisters. Yeah, that there, there was some question. His sister, he he had bought his sister and his mom a home. Yeah, in Boston, and there was some questions about whether or not the sister and her nephew, the man who's accused of shooting them, had been taking out loans on the home without the mom knowing and without Benzino knowing. And there was also questions about whether or not um, the mom. Was there was a life insurance taken a policy taken out on her? Yeah, and made his sister uh, the sole beneficiary. Okay. So Benzino allegedly was, you know, he was he had some questions. He wanted to know. I mean, his mom died. It was kind of out of the blue. How, what did she die? What was the cause of her see, death? See, that's the thing. No one really knows. There was not. There was no toxicology ever done. No, you know what I mean. How old was she? She was seventy nine years old, but she was, you know, a very vital woman. You know what I mean. You don't yeah. expect just all of a sudden to just. She just goes out like that, and then and nobody has real questions. I mean, he had a lot of questions. He loved his mom. Yeah. So he had a lot of questions, and I think some people took it the wrong way or whatever. So, you know, he was estranged from him, so he wasn't necessarily even planning on going to the funeral. But a couple, you know, Stevie J, who was a yeah. friend of his, was down there, and he was going to, go to the funeral too. So he was like, okay, well, let me go down to the funeral and see, you know, see my, my homie Stevie J and, you know, pay my last respects. And on the way to the funeral, that's when he ran into his nephew. My gosh, yeah. what you know, Benzino, you know, he he has a hardened past himself. Yeah, but I mean, y- listen, know. I mean, this is a different dude right now. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's you know, he's a businessman. He got yeah. a business down in Atlanta. He's not trying to get in any no. But what do you do level. when your nephew shoots you? I mean Do you retaliate? Like what do you do? I mean, look, he didn't he he just he got the bullets and he you know, he just took them and he he, he was trying to survive. Was you know? Stevie J with him when he got shot? He was going to meet Stevie J uh-huh. and that's when the bullets started flying, hmm. you know? And the nephew right now, I mean, as of yesterday, the nephew admitted to actually shooting him. He says it's self-defense and some other stuff, but, I mean, this is a crazy situation where, and, I mean, think about this, too. Wow. This was on the way to the funeral. Uh-huh. They, there was the uh, the procession was going on at the time. Uh-huh. The hearse was right there. So, I mean, they shot him right there in front of his dead mom. Oh, my God. You know what I mean? Wow. wow. It's crazy. Um. Thank you, Fred Mwanga Ganga, man. Keep us uh, posted. Next time you talk to Benzino, tell him to come on the... No? All right. Uh... You're listening to Sway in the morning. On Shea 45.